and welcome back everyone for week 17 of the 2017 NFL season. I'm way behind this week with my video. I'm actually making it Saturday morning. It's the latest I've ever done that in eight years of making videos but uh, I'm gonna make it a little simpler this week. Less bells, less whistles, but still the same outstanding picks. Here they are. The first game we're going to look at has the Chicago Bears going to Minnesota where my Vikings are 11 point favorites at home with all due respect to the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots. I think the Vikings are the best team right now in the NFL. Number one defense, very good offense. Chicago will look to run the ball but the Vikings stop the run very well. Number two in the league. They have an outstanding record at home straight up and against the spread over the last two years. Uh, this should be a very easy game for Minnesota. Lay the points and take the Minnesota Vikings minus 11. The second game we'll look at has the Dallas Cowboys going to Philadelphia where the Eagles are two and a half point dogs at home. The question is how long will Nick Foles play at quarterback? Maybe half a game at the most. Dallas would sure like to take a shot at him and really damage uh, um, Philadelphia's chances in the playoffs. It's one thing to go from Carson Wentz to Nick Foles, but it's another thing from uh, to go from Nick Foles to the backup who is Nate Sudfeld. Yes, the Sudfeld Meister. So you'll probably see him a lot, at least in the entire second half. Look for Dallas to take some revenge on a lost season, lay the points, and take the Dallas Cowboys minus two and a half. The third game we're going to look at is probably a game that a lot of prognosticators are taking. Washington against the New York Giants. The Giants are three-point dogs at home. Uh, these, this, these two teams have quarterbacks that are at a bit of a crossroads. Eli Manning is probably close to the end of his career. I don't think he's got much left of an arm. I think Odell Beckham Jr. has made him look good the last couple of years. Uh, turning those little dump off passes to 70 yard touchdowns. He, he's got nothing left. Kirk Cousins for Washington has a lot to prove here whether the Redskins re-sign him or he goes to another team. Uh, he, he's looking at a big payout here so I think he'll do really well. The Giants are terrible. It's not that big of a, a point spread so let's lay the points and let's take the Washington Redskins minus three. And the third, fourth game we're going to look at has the Jacksonville Jaguars going to Tennessee. The Titans are three point favorites in this game, it's in and I think you're in. I really don't know all the tiebreakers, but the Titans haven't been playing very well lately. They've lost three in a row. Jacksonville can't really improve their their position in the playoffs, but I'm, I'm reading that they're not, um, they're not resting any of their players. I think they'd like to avenge that loss, that 37-16 loss to the Titans earlier in the season, and it's a good way of shafting a uh, divisional opponent. So I think the Jaguars are going to win this game outright, and you get the point. So let's take the Jacksonville Jaguars plus three. Here's my let's take the man's money parlay play. Six games, I'll leave them right beside my big fat head. A $25 bet will get us $568.15. And for our six game, six point teaser play, again, I'll leave the uh, games here. $25 will get us $175. Good luck. And here are my straight up plays for this week.
Okay, and those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. A quick update in the Geo Nose Awards for Prognosticator of the Year in the Straight Up Pool. Team Avatar 112 still clinging on to the lead at 164 in the Against the Spread Pool. West Coast Martin continues to lead with 134. It's the last week for everybody. Good luck to all of you. Make sure you check us out on the Facebook page. Lots of great prognosticators. I'll leave the link below. And I'd like to thank all of you for following me on my YouTube channel. I, it's a tremendous honor to have you watching my videos and commenting and a special shout out for all of you who subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. May the good Lord bless you and your family in the upcoming year. And let's take the man's money.